How's everybody doing? Thought I'd uh, follow up on this. I haven't had time to finish it. I just finished it up. Got five more boards to do like this, but not in a box like this, in a simpler one. Anyway, these, I still have to do the uh, plate, name plates, or engraved uh, uh, plates here, or whatever. I don't know what they would call them. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's not coming to mind right now. This one right here is uh, cooling. It'll go on when it's in cooling. This one here will go in when it's in defrost, yellow. This one is for uh, oil pressure, and this one is for compressor overload. And this is our digital thermostat, and this is what turns the system on and off. This is an Eliwell, um, an Eliwell uh, 974 digital thermostat. I know here they have the, those, uh, usually I put a, it's a, a twisty, I don't know what they call them, I don't know. Anyway, I don't have any, so I just put these uh, plastic strips on. <coughs> and this right here, they sent me the wrong breaker for the heaters, so I just put it in there so I'd be able to see how everything fits. Now, here I got, um, let's see, how can I explain this? This is our main breaker, this is for the control, this is for the compressor, this is a compressor overload, this is for the heaters, this is for condenser, evaporators, uh, the light inside, solenoids, Alrighty, this is going to be for my compressor, my heaters, my condenser fan, and my evaporator fans. This is a delay timer for the defrost. This here is my cooling solenoid and uh, cooling relay for the solenoid. This is my for my hot gas. <coughs> And this is for the door. Now, uh, why I have a delay for the heaters is because when it goes into hot gas defrost, you have uh, first the first um, uh, a few minutes will be actually a good hot gas defrost. After a few minutes, the hot gas will be only warm, and you won't really get anything out of it. So it's just it's more or less a useless defrost after a few minutes. <clears throat> but what I usually do is I have hot gas plus heating elements. That's the way I do it. But at this particular factory, <clears throat> they do not have enough electricity, not enough juice for all their walk-ins and the shock freezer with the compressor and the heaters that I have in the evaporator coil. So, what I am going to do is, I'm going to go into defrost here, hot gas defrost, and the delay timer right here will count about 7 minutes. After 7 minutes, my hot gas defrost will shut off, and it will give electricity to the uh, <coughs> heater coil the to the contactor here for the heaters to the coil here so this will kick in pull in and give me juice to my heaters sorry I'm not that good at explaining but anyway uh, I do most of these small boards just by I just uh, wire them up just from as I go I do not have a, a map or a diagram 
uh, that I go by. Just each system is different. Each I can't go by. A, I can't draw a diagram and make every single freezer, every single walk-in cooler, every single single uh, showcase or whatever it is, all the same. So I just go by what I see. For example, you can't do like I said. I usually go with a uh, hot gas plus heaters <clears throat> for shock freezer, but. Um, here you can't do that because they just don't have enough electricity power and not not enough power um what else can i explain here um when they open the door you have the little micro switch uh on the door when it opens it'll shut the fan the evaporator fans off and the cooling solenoid off so it'll pump down, shut the unit off. Of course, the fans will go off right away when they open the door. And the light will go on, and this light will go on. Because sometimes at that particular place, the the employees, they'll just kind of throw the door, and it won't shut completely. It'll be almost shut, but it won't be shut, and nobody will really go back and make sure. So I have this light. I was going to put a a nice little noisy siren a buzzer or something but uh the workers begged me not to do that so i <laughs> so i just put the light here uh, <clears throat> let's see what else can i explain um let's see oh yeah i see a lot of hot gas when they go in a hot gas defrost a lot of systems even though the cooling solenoid shuts off so in other words, you won't get any more flow through the condenser coil, even though the, a lot of them just, the fans will stay on. Just as long as the compressor's on, the fans will stay on. I do not like that. It's just my, the way I like it, the way I do things. I like to see when it goes into defrost, I don't like any fans on outside. So, uh, this is the hot gas solenoid uh relay i have my fan this is the wire that will go to the um to the uh to the condenser fan re uh contactor it, i have it going through a normally closed connection so while it's off it has a continuous <coughs> connection to the condenser fans so this contactor will be able to kick in now when it goes in a hot gas defrost this normally closed will become normally open and it will cut it off from the condenser fan contactor as everybody can see I probably wouldn't be a good instructor or anything because I am horrible at, at explain, explaining things <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little uh, tired here guys so bear with me and um, I'm actually doing this in my home so I decided to relax and do it at home and I have five more to go and I don't want to get into uh, too much of an argument with the wife so I got to finish these up pretty quickly <laughs> And um, what else do I, should I explain? I have all my connections usually come through the bottom of the box through and I tie them, tie each one here and the, the wires will go into these. I have, I'll have uh, little, they have little white plastic uh, tags like this. For each one, and I'll have it written down what each one is. And what's that screwdriver? And that's about it, guys. Um, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to know something else, or if I wasn't clear about something or whatever. Like I said, bear with me, guys. I'm a little tired, and uh, I got a little bit of a cold, so. I explained it as as good as I could. Have a good day.
and thanks for watching.